Hello everybody, welcome back. The room is pretty much done. We gotta paint it though. But before we can paint with a color, we have to seal up all this joint compound. Man, does that look beautiful. It just looks, it looks perfect. This is the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today's video is sponsored by Phil Pow. They sent me out this amazing leaf blower. For the next two minutes, I'm going to fill your mind with some amazing knowledge. If you've been following my channel for any length of time, you might remember a video series that I titled Homeowner Mistake Causes $11,000 in Damage. Well over a million views. I'll put that link down below. They did not clear the leaves and debris out of their gutters. We're going to get up there. We're going to blow a lot of leaves. B8 Pro, 20 volt max, 450 CFM. Oh, oh, you can see this one's full of leaves. It goes down into this one and eventually drains out down there. We got a lot of different settings on here. We got a low speed, a high speed, and then a turbo. Turbo. So we got quite a bit of damage to the siding because of the buildup in this corner. i give you a close up, but they have moss <laughs> growing on their siding. Turbo. So I came back here to blow vertical and look at that. This here is, it's just horrible, undescribably bad. You can see how the ground has sunk. This is an underground uh, downspout pipe right there that's filled with leaves and rocks. 20 volt battery, four amp hours. This is the low setting. I'd call that the medium setting. And then turbo. Turbo really puts out some extra power and you can actually feel the thing move back in your hand. Uh, links will be in the description for the Phil Pow leaf blower. This customer started raking leaves as I'm here filming with this high powered leaf blower. And I already have a leaf blower, so I'm going to give this to them uh, to use. They've already got this whole area blown out. They've got lots of garden beds to blow out. If you are curious what's going on with this gutter system, you're going to have to follow me on Instagram because I already started videoing the digging process, the excavation process, I should, I should say, because that thing is deep, way, way deeper than I ever imagined. Back to the video. Today, whew, I dusted off my paint sprayer dug this out of the back of the workshop. It's been buried for years. Surprisingly, it still works as if it was brand new. I thought it was gonna have to get a rebuild kit and all that, but popped it down into a bucket of water, flipped it on. Next thing you know, it's spraying. Perfect. Nothing too fancy with the primer. This is just some Kills 2 primer. Place your bets below. It's two gallons gonna spray this entire room. It's supposed to do 600 square feet. And I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. So it's $19 to buy one gallon or it's $24 to buy two gallons. Just so you know, if you go down to the Home Depot to pick this up, you can get two gallons in a two gallon container for much less than two gallons in one gallon containers. Now before I go spraying, I've got to mask off the windows I'm gonna mask off this beam here, even though it's gonna get fully wrapped with a custom faux beam. It might not take place for a while. All right, oh, I got some other tools for you. I'm gonna use my hand masker right here. You got your masking tape, some paper, and this device here that unrolls the paper and the tape, whoop, it's sharp. I've cut myself several times. There you go. I will leave a link down in the description for this specific one, the Hand Masker by 3M. I have several of these. They come in different colors, different brands make them. And the cheap ones, things get out of alignment and your tape and your paper don't work well together. The tape can run off and it separates. It's a pain in the butt because you can't just go to work. I've been a professional painter now, going on 20 years. What's the definition of a professional painter? Someone who paints something in exchange for money. There you go, you're a pro painter. And if you do it a lot, 
uh, you're an extra special pro painter. So I'm just gonna get started doing the windows, do the beam. Hopefully this thing works as, as well as it did the last time I used it. This is the Graco Magnum Pro X7. I bought this used off of Craigslist. It's never been rebuilt. I've got a short hose on it today. I've got an extra long one when I'm painting exterior houses. Just plug it in, pull the trigger, and spray. Fun little fact, I'm on hold with United Airlines and they said your wait time is greater than 60 minutes. So if you hear some noise in the background, it's just their elevator music playing. So I'm gonna finish wrapping this beam with this really thin plastic. This thin plastic is also designed to go on the hand masker. Uh, I'm not gonna use it like that just because I'm gonna just tear it off and use it like a piece of plastic. I also use this to make dust walls. People have asked uh, that quite a bit in the past. What I make my dust walls out of, this is it. Of course, I don't have my knife on me. It's my Olight knife. Put a link down in the description for this. It's the sharpest knife I've ever bought. Still haven't sharpened it, and you can shave your body hair with it when it arrived. So that's about it for masking. I'll pull the recessed lights down so I don't spray over those. In my opinion, one of the most valuable skills to have when doing a home improvement project is having the patience to do it right. Um, there's not a lot of technical skill in masking and plugging in your paint sprayer. You do have to know how to adjust the knob. <laughs> you just read the directions. Also knowing how to take apart the filters and check those. Got to know how, how to do that. I think it's been about 30 minutes on hold.
What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. camera just will not pick up white walls it's driving me crazy hopefully you guys can get an idea of what the skip trowel looks like once it's painted maybe when we get color on here maybe you will be able to see it better action Polly we're on we're laying we're live we're not live all right well that is that's how you paint with the paint sprayer with everything, there's a learning curve. When I first got started, the first couple swipes on the ceiling, things were off a little bit, but it's just primer. The ceiling also gets ceiling paint, and I did spray that with this sprayer as well. The walls, well, you're just gonna have to wait and see what happens to the walls. It'll blow your mind. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss it. The tip that I used to spray this was a 515. They go right in the nozzle there and that's where they're labeled, 515. I've got a, two other 515s, a 415 and a 615. Can't quite remember what all those numbers mean. I'm guessing it's the fan pattern. This one was pretty wide, uh, but that's what you want when you're painting walls. Usually with an airless paint sprayer, you don't have to thin paint, especially when you're just painting walls or siding. Uh, now you can paint cabinets with this thing, and I've dabbled with it a little bit. You get it. A fine tip. Cleanup is, isn't too bad. Uh, I did a little bit in the room with a five gallon bucket. Uh, I suck clean water up in here and have it go out the return. Uh, and then I have it go out the hose. Then I took it outside and did it again with a full five gallon bucket and just keep running it until the paint's gone. Jeez, Beyonce will not leave me alone. There's this thing called uh, pump armor or something. Hey, you want to come up here and get some airtime? Sorry, I'm kind of blocking you. Um, <clears throat> you can get this stuff called pump armor that you suck up in there. Uh, I've never used it. I probably should have used it. I did squirt a little bit of lube. Where is it? This lube right here. Throat seal liquid. Squirted this in, in this little nut here. And, uh, if you got questions, Somebody's got answers. Put those down in the comments. What tip do you use? What's your favorite paint? Do you have an airless paint sprayer? I don't know if this is a pro grade. It says Pro X7. I believe you can get these right at Home Depot. Is this the last video before Christmas? It might be. It might be the last video for before Christmas. Maybe we'll have one out Christmas day or the day after Christmas. Depends on how I'm feeling. Goodbye. Take care, come here. Get some air time, Polly. I'm hot, can you sit? She feels neglected because I've been blocking her. She wants her airtime. Click the like button. 
to have Polly come back in the next video. Yeah, come back in the next video.